Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm gonna show you how to take PDQ Deploy and put it in central server mode. This will allow you and another one of your colleagues, another system administrator, who's licensed to use PDQ Deploy together. It will also allow you guys to see each other's work, which makes it a lot easier to know what's going on. First thing you need to do is decide which you know installation of PDQ Deploy is going to be the server. I've decided on this one right here, so here we go, options. Uh, you hit options, you go to central server. Pretty tough, guys. Push the central server mode button there, or the server mode button. Okay, it's gonna ask you what port you wanna use. I'd stick with the defaults unless there's a compelling reason to use a different one. Listen on all IP addresses. Again, you can scope this down for more security if you'd like. And then of course you need your password. I think I was mouthing the words password one when I typed that. Once you hit okay on that, it's going to restart the application so that it puts it in central server mode. Now, the other thing you need to do is make sure you get that same PDQ deploy install file on your colleague's machine so that you can install, oh, you need the license key too. So you can install it and put it in client mode. So you'll notice right here, this came back up. It's in central server mode. So I am now ready to go over to a colleague's machine and install PDQ deploy. So standard install, I give it a yes. I'm gonna take the defaults through here. Next, definitely gonna agree to the EULA, somewhere along there. Those lines, you know, you agree to be my mate or something, I'm not sure. Next, and then I hit install. Well, that was pretty quick click in there, but yes. Take the defaults. It's gonna install PDQ deploy, and then during the configuration, this is when we're gonna put it in client mode. So we hit next. We do need, it needs to be licensed, so I'm gonna browse for the license key. Luckily, I grabbed that and put it on the desktop. So there we go, I'm licensed. I hit next. Now it's gonna ask me what mode I wanna put it in. Definitely wanna put it in client mode. Once you do that, again, it's gonna show you the port, which we left at default, and then I either use the IP address or the name of the server that I wanna to connect to. Finished, and when this comes up, it will be viewing what's on Guinness. So if I go look at packages, there we go. Oh, check it out, no more cat videos. Let's open that and edit that. No more cat vids, one. I changed this, you'll notice right here, package locked by Web Quintana on Beth. If I jump back over to the server here, just minimize that, pop this open, and I open that cat, no more cat vids, it won't allow me to edit it because it's being edited on Beth. So we do know that it is in central server mode. And I'm gonna make an extra package here. We're just gonna do a command step. We're gonna do a dir. I'm gonna name the package. I did a dir. Save that. And then you'll notice when I bounce back over to Beth, there, there's I did a dir. When I bounce back over to Beth, close out of this. Now nah, I won't save it. There's I did a dir. So, both machines, both people will be working off the same pane of glass. That's how you put it in central server mode. It's great so you can share your work with your colleagues. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.